The Obamas are deleting Hillary on Twitter. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Obvious, bringing you the obvious, and today on Twitter.com. So here we have a post by Sophia who says the following, Something big must be brewing. Everyone who is anybody is backing away from Hillary. Warren, Brazil, Warren, Brazil's, and now Michelle's deleted all Hillary-related tweets on her feed. Going back to 2013, this happened just five days ago. Obama deleted Hillary's tweet and also stopped following her. So what could possibly be coming? That all of these major figures would back away from the Clintons, notably Hillary herself. Now there's a link to an article here and I would like to look at it before we look at this thread. In the news, hell freezes over, pigs fly, the Obamas destroyed Hillary on Twitter. That would make a good headline. Before we really get into this though, just a reminder, you can find my Patreon and Subscribestar links down below in the description. It's the only way I can fight demonetization these days. Be sure to check out my affiliate link as well as my social media accounts and be sure to follow me on BitChute. Now here it says, and this is by Emmanuel. It is hard to believe this happened, but it did, and the Obamas are not the only ones. Something big must be brewing. Everybody who is anybody is backing away from Hillary Clinton. Let's work in order of least significant to most significant. Elizabeth Warren. Burn. AKA Pocahontas. Burn. Or Focahontas. That's a pretty good one. The fake Native American that Democrats loved unfollowed Hillary Clinton on Twitter. Just weeks ago, she and Hillary Clinton were a campaigning duo. Why would the fellow sister-in-arms back away from Hillary? Donna Brazile, DNC bigwig and former CNN employee, changed her Twitter photo, removing Hillary Clinton just a few days before the election. Donna is likely hurting from losing her job at CNN, but it is her own fault. If you cheat and feed debate questions to your favorite candidate, you should not continue employment as a journalist. I absolutely agree. Bad journalism and bad journalists have become a scourge that are destroying our country. Again, why would this longtime Democrat distance herself from the Democrat nominee for President of the United States? Then you have Michelle Obama, First Lady of the United States and Hillary's recent campaign partner, deleted all tweets relating to Hillary and deleted every tweet on her feed going back to 2013, just five days ago. Michelle shared the stage in Winston-Salem with Hillary. They held hands and bashed Donald Trump together. <laughs> Now Michelle is taking a leap backwards. Most importantly, Barack Obama, President of the United States, former, deleted tweets related to Hillary and also stopped following her on Twitter. So here's the important part of this. WikiLeaks has promised a release that will land Hillary in jail. Anonymous says that they would have a video of Bill Clinton in a scandal of the ages. Could this be the work of infamous hacker 4chan? There are rumors of trafficking and other scandals. Let's find out, I guess, in the coming days. So here on Twitter, this is what people have to say. So this got uh, 1.8 thousand retweets and 2,000 likes. Ooh, very interesting. Look at this uh, tweet by Jay. Do not forget, if that effing <laughs> bastard wins, we're all going to hang from round ropey dopies. You better fix this shit. <laughs> Hillary Clinton email to Donna Brazil, DNC, Chairman, October 17th, 2016. Ah, oh, yes. Perhaps the news is coming. Day of the rope! Francis Barrera says, wonder what she meant, thinking emoji. Daily reminder that uh, Clinton body count was trending not so recently. Smile says, Hillary and trafficking of children. That's what's going on. Every one of them knew this, but allowed all of her crimes, helped her commit crimes. This is so obvious. They are all going down. Whose fault is that in any way? Now, when it comes to trafficking, what I do know about this subject in regards to Hillary Clinton is um, to do with Haiti. I believe it was Haiti, but the Clinton Foundation, which is her charity group and no doubt extremely corrupt, did work in Haiti. And, and as far as I remember, people went missing. Children went missing. Children were found somewhere they shouldn't have been. So I, I'm not going to go out and say that she directly is involved in this, but I have seen details which indicates this could be the... Can you imagine though? Can you imagine the shitstorm it would cause if it turned out that this uh, wonderful candidate who, who who won the popular vote and should have been Madame President, pun intended, was involved in that, was literally the lowest of the low, like the worst human being ever, and that everyone on the right side of history, pun intended, were correct all along. I think it would change our history as we know it. Proud Patriot says, it's true. I spent way too much time yesterday searching who they follow and they have distanced themselves, including deleting tweets. From her like a bad odor. And that would be the rot from Insider. 
E equals MC squared equals 3.1 pi times pi says. Remember, they never thought she would lose. She owes a ton of money to people. She accepted that she can't pay back. Strings have been cut. She's toast and they know it. Expect her to be um, deceased very soon. Jay Haggood has a interesting theory. Michelle is going to fake loving America and run for president. Now, I could see them doing something like that after Trump's second term. But, man, and you know what sucks? She would probably win. That freaking hippie that ruined school lunches. Apparently, the quote here wasn't from an email. Uh, someone here points out, and this is just for the sake of clarity. NMMN2A says, It wasn't an email. It was a post lar interview meltdown, so it did happen. Due to the fact that he'd gone off script and asked about her emails, the statement was made backstage in a room full of witnesses. So this is from 2016. She was in full meltdown. Hillary unleashed on Donna Brazil for unapproved debate question. So let's check this out. But in this alleged behind the scenes account, Donna Brazil becomes a brunt of Hillary Clinton's anger after her host, Matt Lawyer, sprung an unapproved question about the email scandal on her. As analyst Bill Steele points out in this video, Hillary's famously furious temper was unleashed after she lost control of the narrative. She can hardly be trusted with a difficult and consequential decision made in the Oval Offices. Okay, let's, uh, let's take a look. But let me ask you something ahead of time that I'll ask Mr. Trump in a half an hour. To the best of your ability tonight, can we talk about your qualities and your qualifications to be commander in chief and not use this as an opportunity to attack Mr. Trump? All right. And I'll ask him the exact same thing. I think that's an exactly right way to proceed. OK. This is a very important decision uh, for our country. And each of us should be presenting our experience, our expertise, and our plans to protect and defend the United States and our allies around the world. What is the most important character? You know, the funniest thing about that, I'm sorry to pause, um, <laughs> you can tell she like literally doesn't believe anything she's saying. Like, is she coming up with that on the spot? Just look at her expressions. Yeah, I totally believe that uh, th that's the right way to proceed and uh, the best one for the job. I I'm so presidential. Not. Ristic that a commander-in-chief can possess. Steadiness, an absolute rock steadiness and mixed with strength. So judgment is a key. Temperament and judgment, yes. The word judgment has been used a lot around you, Secretary mm -hmm. Clinton, over the last year and a half, and in particular concerning your use of your personal email mm -hmm. and, pr and server to communicate while you were Secretary of State. You've said it's a mistake. Mm -hmm. You said you made not the best choice. Mm -hmm. You were communicating on highly... And you can already tell how pissed off she is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If I see you in the alleyway, I'm gonna crack your head open. Who apparently was quoting those on the set when Matt posed the one legitimate question about the FBI investigation concerning her homemade server and the unsecured emails we could see she was beginning to boil. As soon as Clinton got off the set, she exploded. Hillary proceeded to pick up a full glass of water and throw it at the face of her assistant. And then the screaming started. She was in a full meltdown and no one on her staff dared speak with her. She went kind of manic and did not have control over herself at that point. Eh, yes, truly, America would have been great if only she had won the presidency. Thank God she did not. And you know what, friends? That pretty much sums up the story here. It's really strange, but a bunch of big figures are backing away from Hillary Clinton. WikiLeaks is promising a drop to put her in jail. What could be happening, folks? I don't know, but it's big. It's gonna be huge. But that's merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. What do you think about this latest development? Do you think that something is coming? Be sure to let me know your theories and thoughts down below. Now, just a reminder, you can join me on Patreon or Subscribestar for as low as one dollar. Doing so will get you access to Fight Club, a private Discord server. There's also PayPal options. If you prefer a physical product to show support, check out my affiliate, Magnetic MacBook Pro Covers, to cover your camera. They stick right on. They'll protect you from spies and hackers. And there's even a Neon Cat version. Lastly, because websites are no longer truly promoting red-pilled content, much less monetizing it, you can help out by posting videos you enjoy on social media. As always, thanks for watching. This has been Mr. Obvious, and I'll see you all next time.